In the sixth episode of State of the Game, we'll be talking about the WGLA playoffs and the teams that didn't make the playoffs. So, now that the um, league is over, you still got the playoffs coming up, but I want to talk about all the teams in the league and then go into depth a little bit on the playoffs and talk about uh, the teams that are actually going to be playing and the matches they'll be playing. Uh, but start off, let's talk about the teams that place in the bottom of the league this season, the teams that are going to be auto-relegated um, for the next season. So, the first of those teams is Game Over. They actually placed last in the league. Um, it's several times now that they didn't show or all that well. But I really do admire them as a team because they continually uh, try playing hard throughout the entire season, every time. They never give up halfway through. They're always a team that uh, you can expect at least a good match from, even though they always tend to have a problem uh, shutting out games. Um, there's several games this season where they got up like 3-1 on the first match and still end up losing, and that's really a big problem for them. They're also a Brazilian team, so they have to deal with some latency there too. They probably play around with 150, 200 uh, latency every single match, so that's a little bit more than the North American players really deal with. So there's a lot of upside for them. I, I, I still admire them really as a team, and I, I actually hope they're back next season. Uh, the second team would be Rival. They placed uh, 11th for this season, so second to last. They actually have the same record as Game Over. One win, one overtime win, and nine losses. Um, but even with that, there was definitely some uh, different things you saw. They were definitely a team that had a lot of plans going in, but I think what actually hurt them a lot was like the player skill to really... Uh, do those plans so there's a lot of like um, uh, areas that they stalled out on when they shouldn't have there's a lot of just individual missed shots a lot of like sharing hit point problems but you can definitely see that the strategy is there on that team uh, a, a team that they remind me of is like synergy the strategy is there but they need a little bit more player skill uh, playing better from their players to really move up to the next level Photo, what's the next team? Um, the next team is Maple Freedom, and um, they're a new team that came into the league this season. They came up from the Silver League, I think it was. And um, they, I mean, they did better than two other teams. Uh, they did better than Game Over and Team Rival, which is not, not uh, really that good because they're getting relegated, but I mean, they are a new team, they're pretty much using new players, like players that have no experience in the goal league at all, so the fact that they're sitting um, is, what's it, 10th, uh, 10th position, um, is not very surprised, I'm not very surprised to actually see them in that position, and they actually played better than I thought they, they would have, considering that they're brand new. Um, the next team that I want to talk about was Lamp. Now, Lamp finished ninth this season, and I was not expecting this. I thought that this team would do a lot better than they did. I mean, they're getting straight relegated out this season, and um, I think the reason why that's happening to them is because they lost a couple of key players. And with new players coming in, um, I think that's what, uh, cause them to be in a position of there right now. So, the next teams are the ones that actually had to play for their spot for next season. Uh, those two teams being Hashtag RU and Synergy Gaming. Um, Hashtag RU is always a team that seems to be near like the middle of the pack towards the end of the season, but always manages to squeak in to the playoff area. Um, this season, that didn't happen. They didn't... Uh, pull out a couple wins near the end, which they could have, and like one win or two wins would have gotten them in the playoffs. Um, but it's always a team that I am not wanting to play, because they always seem to play their best when I'm playing them, either in like Hammer Time when I was for them, or in Simp. They always have like their best games against uh, whatever team I'm playing, and it seems really weird. But, hey, like 
they're a good team. I expect them to be back next season. Um, I believe they have to play the third place Silver League team. I'm not sure who that is because their finals hasn't gone or hasn't happened yet. But uh, yeah, I, I expect them to win that match and be back next season if they want to be. Team Synergy or um, Simple Tank, as, as they were doing before, uh, it's a really, uh, it's a really, really good team. Um, problem with them this season is they lost a couple of key players to high voltage, and I think that threw off their strats and threw off like um, play experience, especially because um, the players that uh, are on synergy right now they do have experience in the league, at least some of them do, but the rest don't have enough experience, and I I think experience plays a huge part in this league. I mean, making you make shots, making you make the right decisions in a certain uh, situation. I mean, experience plays a lot in, in life, right? And I think that's what happened to, um, that's what happened with, with Synergy this season. Like, um, a couple of matches that was really close, that was, uh, the, match, the match was basically hinged on one decision and the decision didn't go the right way and they end up losing. So um, I'm expecting Synergy to actually stay in the league. I don't think they would actually, or they will actually lose their relegation match. And yeah, I'm, I'm expecting to see them next season. So um, I'm going to talk about Noble versus 07, which is one of the two playoff matches. Well, first play, play, playoff matches. Um, this match is kind of uh, David versus Goliath situation. Like, 07 is um, a brand new team. Um, and Noble, as you know, are what they, they used to be known as Cunningham's, is a pretty, well, a extremely experienced team. Now, when it comes to playoff situations, um, I usually go with players that have more experience. And for this match, I'm expecting Noble to absolutely get an, uh, a decisive victory in this um, playoff match. Um, in 07, they have been a pretty decent team uh, this season. They have like really good uh, player skills. They have um, more or less decent strats. Uh, but I don't think they're on the level of Noble. I think Noble is just going to absolutely crush them this playoff match. Can you have any prediction on the score for it? I'm expecting it to be like 5-1, maybe 5-2. So the other playoff match that will be happening on uh, August 20th is Simp vs. Elevate. Now, everybody knows Elevate won last season. Uh, and they also uh, upgraded their lineup, I guess some would say from last season to this season, p picking up uh, uh, three EU players, Dark God Zim, Armelie, and Arklet. Um, well, like, everything points to them playing fairly well and being a very tough team in this playoff. Uh, Simp, however, is a team that uh, is remnants of two teams now. They got uh, four players from the old Simp, and they got uh, five players from the old Hammer Time that was in the uh, the team last or in the league last season, who were always you know around or near the top of the standings also. So it's definitely a team that has a lot of experience still. Um, cohesion together, since they're not used to playing with each other as much, is probably one of their weakest points. But I expect the match to be really close between Elevate and Simp. Uh, Simp, you know, in previous seasons they've won the league. At least some of the players have. So there shouldn't be too much or too many nerves on their side either. That's probably going to be uh, definitely the closest match of the two first playoff matches. But that being said, I think Elevate has actually started to play worse as the seasons progressed, and Simp's been playing better as the season progressed. And they played at the beginning of the season, and Elevate squeaked out a 5-4 victory. So if I had to pick a winner now, I would say it's going to be 5-4 or 5-3 in Simp's favor this time. Okay, so if my my prediction holds through and Noble uh, beats 07, um, the next match would be Team Refuse versus Noble Gaming. 
Now, this match would be extremely, extremely difficult on both teams. Um, I can't imagine what the stress level would be because when Nova Gaming actually faced Team Refuse before in the season, it was a pretty close match. So, um, I mean, Team Refuse is basically the same, but I, I think that Nova Gaming has actually gotten better as the season has progressed. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I have no clue what's going to happen with this match. I can't um, give a prediction of the what who who the winner is going to be but it should be extremely exciting the very start of the season negatron asked me what teams i thought were going to do well and four of the teams i picked the four teams i picked to make the top four are in the top five i said refuse noble elevate and simp will all do well obviously i'm leaving out high voltage i didn't know how they would uh, how they would work together. I didn't see them play yet, so I kind of reserved my opinion on that team before or until I saw some of their play. Now, I was definitely uh, wrong to doubt them. They've played probably the best out of any of the teams throughout the entire season. There's been sparks of other teams that they've played better in certain moments, but overall, High Voltage is definitely the clear number one team going into the playoffs. Uh, that being said, Elevate and Simp, if Simp wins that match, would have to play High Voltage. That's going to be a matchup that would be very difficult. Now, Simp played them in the regular season and lost uh, to High Voltage 5-2. They went 2-2 on Mines, and then they lost 3 straight on Ghost Town. Uh, that being said... I don't think Simp played their best match, and High Voltage probably didn't play their best match either, but they definitely played a lot better than Simp did. But if I had to pick one team to beat High Voltage, I mean, it's tough, but I would probably go with Simp over Refuse and Noble, since Simp beat Noble and Refuse towards the end of the season. It's going to be close uh, between those uh, three teams, which one has the best shot of beating them, but that's what I would have to do. All right, in closing, it's only fair for us to critique the announcers since they critique us the entire season. Photo. From last year's announcers to this year's announcers, when you had Rukil and Clutch last year, and now you have uh, Christian Toma and uh, Nagatron announcing, which ones did you like better? Uh, a little bit of both, I suppose. Um... I think, well, Christian doesn't know much about the game, but his commentating is pretty good. I think his play-by-play -play is pretty good because he's just, he's basically calling what he sees. Um, for Nagatron, <laughs> I think Nagatron needs to go back to um, playing uh, in the league again <laughs> because a lot of stuff that he says is not correct, but, you know, we have to, we have to live with it. Um... Oh, it's definitely a lot more incorrect things when Rukil and Clutch were talking. Like, everything Clutch said was generally wrong. But, I mean, it, it, it's not as bad as it was in previous seasons, but I, I do agree that the Negatron does have a disconnect from the league play, how it is now, versus when he was playing it in 7x42. Alright, one of the other things the announcers do is the camera work inside the game. Um, I definitely feel the camera work has been infinitely better than it has been in previous seasons. Previous seasons, they were always looking at something that didn't matter while action was happening in other parts of the map. Um, would you agree with me, Photo, that uh, it's gotten better? Yeah, I, I definitely agree. The camera work this season has been definitely better than it, it has been in previous seasons. They usually tend to focus in on like a critical situation um during the match and the uh picture in picture especially so um at least if the main camera is not focusing on a critical situation usually the the second camera is actually focused on that and i, I think it really helps <laughs>